Shazam of Fury. So we're eight episodes into WandaVision, eight of nine, and I've never done a video on this series, but I have to say, watching it religiously from its beginning till now has been quite a ride, and I actually really enjoy the series, how it's been telling stories. So, and episode eight is going to be spoilers in this one, and we get to see what Agatha Harkness is after from Wanda. And you know, in the last episode when we had the Agatha All Along song, we we thought she was really um, actually manipulating Wanda to do all of this, but it goes deeper than that. And I'll get to that in a moment. So anyway, you get to see how powerful Agatha is in the dark arts and why she is alive still to this day. She's hundreds of years old and she dabbled in dark magic and she destroyed her own covenant by draining their powers and their life force, which is something more than likely that's going to be touched in on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, hopefully, or maybe they rectify it in the series finale next week. But anyway, from what you see, you get to see that she's after Wanda for a specific reason. So she uses magics to have Wanda relive her childhood. And we get to see for the first time some things that we've pretty much were suspecting all along. As for the sitcom aesthetic, Wanda and Pietro grew up with their parents in Sokovia watching sitcoms it was like wanda's happy place her ideal life because outside of her window was war and death going on all the time in sokovia so you get to see her she loved dick van dyke show she loved malcolm and Lily. all the influences that they clearly knew that we would catch were there just to tell us like see yes we know you were absolutely right this is the influence and this is why so anyway we we're watching and all of a sudden that stark bomb, just like she described in Age of Ultron, came through um, her living room. Her parents were killed in the explosion and uh, her and Pietro were trapped inside. And you get to see as she's reliving this with Agatha's powers, having her relive it, you get to see that Wanda stopped the Stark Industries bomb for going off. Wanda has power. So this means what we figured the whole time. Now that they got the rights back from Fox, Wanda is a mutant, but that's not where it stops at. So as the episode goes on, her next memory or so, you get to see that she became, you know, it's her radicalization period. You know, this anti-freedom movement that we know she was part of, which we first were introduced to Wanda and Pietro in Age of Ultron and you get to see that she had contact with the Monstone and she was with Baron Von Strucker and when she made contact with the stone it unlocked what she already had inside of her and you actually got to see the Easter egg of the Scarlet Witch well, not Easter egg. You actually got to see that vision come into her. She saw like a her true self. And then once Von Strucker and his assistant kept playing back the footage from her exposure to the stone, it did just what Darcy saw. And um, how can we say a couple episodes ago where when Wanda didn't want you to see something, it looked like it was cut from that world. Just out. Just like when she ousted Monica from the hex. You saw it just clicked to the next scene like it was edited out. So they never got to see what we finally got to see in this episode. And that's her unlocking her true potential that was already there. Which a lot of people figured they would do that. Like, it would be like, you know what? Once they got the rights back, they're going to say that power has already been there. The Mind Stone just simply unlocked it. And that's just what we got to see. 
So as the episode goes on, or so you got to see the next vision. It was like the um, how's the, you know, what's the one again with um Scrooge with the the ghost of Christmas past? Agatha pretty much was like that, letting us go through. And then the next um vision you got to see, I know pun vision you got to see was. The part where um, Wanda was in the Avengers um, facility, sitting there watching TV. It's her happy place. So she's watching the older show, Malcolm in the Middle. Now, you you know, as you go on, you get to see sitcoms, which was, let me go back a moment. When she was in the, um, she was in quarantine inside the um, Von Strucker's um, headquarters. She was watching more sitcoms as time goes. She was watching the Brady Bunch, I believe. So now she's watching Malcolm in the Middle at her next memory in the Avengers facility. And um, Vision comes in and talks to her. You know, she, she she's clearly grieving. The only, it's like she can't move on. But Vision has always been her sense of peace. So you get to understand when Vision died, she lost that sense of peace. This is why she missed him so much. So... Moving on, I guess Agatha's trying to peel it back and understand where this power come from, where it comes from, and why. Because she wants it for herself. So, as we move on, guess what happens? You see, after um, the end game, you see um, Wanda come to the sword facility looking for Vision's body. Okay? This is where it gets really interesting at it. Because once she get in there, she's directed to um, Director Hayward, which he says something that's really sus, but I'll tell you that in a moment. All right, so once she gets directed in, he, sh he tells her to take a look down there in the lab because he has an overhead view. Vision is dismantled just like we've seen, okay? We've seen that Vision is dismantled, so... She just wants to give him a proper burial. So I guess the, the rumor mill was right about the proper burial thing, but they was wrong about so many things. But let's not talk about that. Anyway, so she go um she wants the body back, but Hayward was like, that's three billion dollars of vibranium. We can't just let you put that in the ground. So guess um what? She goes, she crashes through the window with her powers, she goes down there, and she tries to use her powers to fill, sense his thoughts because even though he's a synthesoid she can still feel him he has a specific aura this is what tony was talking about vision's different he's he's evolving so she couldn't feel him so guess what she walks out of the sword facility without vision okay but before that happened hayward say some said something really suspicious like i can't just let you take three billion dollars worth of our brain out of here you know now you got the you know we have to dismantle one of the biggest sentient weapons out there and we can't just you know somebody with your powers to bring back him back online i mean back to life he's like haywood was kind of edging her on he know he knew about her powers she didn't even know she can do that that's what got me really thinking, what, what is Hayward up to? Okay, but you get to see more of that as the episode goes on. Um, so, she leaves out of the facility without vision. She never kidnapped. She never took his corpse or his body at all. But when she gets in her car, by magic, there's a deed sitting on the um, passenger seat of her car. And it's to land in Westville, West um, View, New Jersey. Maybe it was there already, but maybe she just finally paid attention to it. Uh, so she went out there. West View is a normal uh, suburban town. Looks very old. Well, not like colonial old, but it just looks like just really, just really just, just old. Meaning like it's not the most upkept town, but it's quiet. It's a very quiet place. So when she gets out there, she opens the paper. It's a deed. They were going to, her and Vision were going to build 
a house to start a family in. So it's just the the plot and the the the, the setup of where the house would go is there. So Wanda opened the paper and with all that grief and sorrow for the loss of Pietro, Vision, everything, she just lets out her power, causing the hex. And she this is how she blanketed that whole area of vet on Westview and turned everybody in the town to her ideal life. And this is when you got the Dick Van Dyke era, the black and white. She completely manifest vision. Like the vision we knew. Well, visually, the vision we knew because I talked to I talk about that in a moment. She totally manifesting vibranium powers and all just with augmented memory no memories of him being an avenger as we were told in two episodes ago on episode six when agatha let that slip to vision you know agatha came there with her powers because she wants wanda's powers so after this big revelation um or so Agatha comes back into the scene because she's pulling Wanda through this. You know, Wanda's powerless against her because she put up these runes where only the person who cast the spell has power. Wanda doesn't have power in it. She's reliving all this through Agatha's influence. And it's all true, though. So she finally, she finally lets Wanda go from reliving everything and Wanda's like where's Billy and Tommy you know her twins that she manifested as well in this perfect world and she goes outside and she's a see Agatha floating up in the air using her these vines to put around the throats of Billy and Tommy and stuff and she was like you your power's a myth Wanda you you know you are the scarlet you are a scarlet witch and that's how the episode ended. And, you know, we got an after credits view. And guess what? Now we see Hayward. And Hayward, remember the drone a few episodes ago? Well, if you haven't seen the series, you will see that there's drone a drone that Hayward sent through that fired on Wanda. And it was imbued with the Hex energy, Wanda's powers. And remember, Wanda completely made a new vision. Her, uh, you know, with his own, with her ideal memories of, you know, vision. No memory of that bad life of being the Avenger, the the trauma, anything, losing his life, and all these things. So she totally made a new vision. So what Sword figured out, what Hayward figured out is take that energy and that drone still was imbued with that energy and they used that energy source to power vision's rebuilt body we got the white vision that we saw in the early 90s in the comic books during the vision quest arc where they took vision's body um, and disassembled it and then they rebuilt it but without simon williams aka wonder man's um soul and his personality to go into vision it was just a emotionless android the same one we got in the the avengers game remember the four person beat em up game that had iron man hawkeye captain america and vision that vision we got that version and that's how the episode ended so we got one episode left and what we revealed the whole time wanda had the power since she was a child she's a mutant in the mcu without outright saying it she's a mutant and she is the scarlet witch finally outright said it she's just agatha called her the scarlet witch her powers are legendary but one yes wanda's a mutant and we have white vision and the only thing we haven't seen, maybe we're going to see it in next week's episode for the series finale, where Monica and the fake Pietro at. Oh, that's another thing. Agatha real uh, said it like she Agatha has powers of trans um, mutation, 
but she could not get Pietro's body because it was too far away. But she didn't reveal where she got this Pietro from. But she revealed that Pietro is her eyes and ears, meaning she was using her powers. This is why he kept asking her so many questions. It was Agatha speaking through her, which you saw, which you got hint of in the Agatha all along reveal at the end of last week's episode. So, uh, really good storytelling so far. And I got a feeling if we don't get all the definitive answers, we will get in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which leads into... Which WandaVision leads into, or is it Spider-Man 3 first? I don't know. But it's been really good episodes. And this one here was really good when it comes to revealing a lot about Wanda's past. So this is my first WandaView video. WandaVision video. I said WandaView because I'm thinking about Westview also. So um, let me know if you, what you've seen in the episode and did you watch this series or do you plan on watching it even if you don't got plus there's ways of watching it but i won't say it because i don't want to get in trouble <laughs> but nah go ahead whatever way you watch it just watch it y'all because i'm a fury i'm out peace